Well, this is what 100 kilos looks like. And that's what John Gabriel managed to lose without dieting. That's John there in the before shot. And this is what he looked like when he weighed 186 kilos. But the weight came off and he kept on getting slimmer and slimmer. And this is what he looks like right now. So you decided that diets didn't work, but you knew you wanted to lose the weight. So what was it that you did that really turned things around? Well, I got fed up and I decided I was never going to diet again because, like I said, I'd lose weight and I'd gain more. I'd lose weight, I'd gain more. I decided I'd never diet again. Instead, I'd try to find out why my body wanted to be fat in the first place and what I could do to get it to want to be thin. And I basically dedicated my life to studying the biochemistry of obesity. And I had a very solid biochemistry background from the University of Pennsylvania, and that gave me enough of a background to go through and do all the research on the Internet. I really left no stone unturned, and I put together an approach that's very much mind-body. And it has to be mind-body because... The, the stresses, the mental stresses in your life are causing chemistry in your body, so you can't take that component out. And for many people, that's the main component. This man has changed my life. I've struggled for 30 years with weight problem. I was 144 kilos. Every other program, you're trying to force yourself to lose weight. This, you don't force yourself to lose weight. You get your body to want to be thinner. You shift your body's set point or ideal weight toward being thinner. Then it all happens automatically. That's so lovely of you to clap, but I feel so guilty because I've really done nothing. <laughs> it has been one of the easiest things I've done. Our bodies have a fat switch. And this is part of our genetic program, our genetic heritage. When this fat switch gets activated, your body goes into fat storage mode and you will gain weight because that whole and I knew this from my experience because that whole 11 years I was gaining weight I was really trying to lose weight I was a very disciplined person I met with Dr. Atkins himself I know what it's like to be in a body that's forcing you to gain weight you can fight it and fight it and fight it and fight it but it's gonna fight back and it can fight 24 hours a day I was about a, I was 186 kilos and my waist was a 60 inches which is, I don't know, 160 centimeters, something like that. So this would have been, this was a, the type of pants that I would wear. What was life like at that weight? It wasn't easy. <laughs> it was a struggle. And there's people that go through their whole lives that where they, they're always fighting cravings, like it's a war, it's a battle. And then there's other people that never, ever fight cravings. It's, they, not once in their entire life did they ever say, I'm not going to have that. Not once. And sometimes you're just too exhausted and then you have this big binge. And it's because your body's forcing you to eat. It has the power to do that. So rather than fight it, understand why it's forcing you to gain weight and how to get it to want to be thin. And then it happens automatically. And that's my message to the world because I've lived it. I now live in a body that wants to be thin. It's been five years. And it's not an effort anymore. And it used to be a monumental effort that I would fail at time and time again. I've lost nearly 50 kilos now. Now, if you want to lose weight on a sustainable way and keep it off, you've got to be able to shift your set point. And if I have one message to the world, it's not about willpower or discipline. It's simply about learning how to work with your body. I then found your book, and things skyrocketed. It was like you had broke something in me. You had given me permission to be free. Yeah. And my weight loss took off Great. from that point because I believed that I had, I had, I had made those changes that, that I needed to make. And then, like, finding your book reinforced everything for me. Did you call your portion? He calls me Portia. That's right, he calls you Portia. And he's the type, you know what? You've been holding on to this and holding on to this all of all of your life and you need to let it go. You have to let it go. It was one of the most profound experiences of my life and it, it has changed my life. Dr. Leibowitz. For the listeners out there who don't know me, I'm currently the medical director of the Hall Center in Santa Monica. Um, I also worked at the Pritikin Center many years ago, uh, which was also a diet and exercise-based program. So I've been very active in sports, nutrition, and preventative health. And I'm very excited tonight to be talking to Mr. John Gabriel. And um, I have a bookstore in my uh, building, and I actually carry his book. And I'm 
very proud to recommend it to my patients. And the question is that nobody even asks us, do you even have the ability to burn fat at all? You know, John, or, can I tell you something? That yeah. was the most powerful thing I got from reading the book. That, that yeah. struck me the most was like, yeah. oh, my goodness, here I've been all my life worried about the calories. And I've never yeah. stopped to think, okay, can I even burn these? Exactly. Can I even and when, burn when that? Right. And I've had people tell me that they used, to be, they used to take 11 different tablets a day for insulin and all this kind of stuff. And their doctors took them off of that because their blood sugar is totally normalized now. I now am taking no tablets at all. My sugar levels now, I took them the other day, were the lowest and they're six. Wow. And they're around that nearly all the time. Wow. So... When I realized that my life was spared, I just sort of had this kind of feeling like, I mean, here I was killing myself. But it seemed like the universe gave me a second chance. What would you have left behind if you'd died that day, do you think? Well, I would have left behind a 186-kilogram body and a life full of unfulfilled dreams, I guess. When you're passionate and when you love what you're doing and when your life is flowing, you're not having all that fear. And, that, and you're not causing all that chemistry anymore. And so your fat programs aren't getting activated. It's not a lose 20 kilos in 20 days type of thing. It's a solve the problem forever type of thing. So many people have told me that when they read the book, it's just like a light goes off and it just totally makes sense now. <laughs> this is not. <laughs> you didn't tell me that part. I read, I read it in about two nights and it's just changed my life. Um, I've lost 30 kilos. I'm not on a diet. I've changed my lifestyle. I eat what I want, but I find that I want different foods to what I used to want before. Um, I used to take antidepressants and high blood pressure tablets. <coughs> Don't take those anymore. I had to be all clear from my doctor. And he just says, keep doing what you're doing. My husband can't keep up with me. <laughs>